And most women who are entrepreneurs or who are business women have their own business or whatever it is, they, it's a very tough time to do that, especially when you leave the office and then go out on a date. There's no physical way you can do that unless you literally go home and get into a different mode. Change your clothes. Get your work outfit <laughs> off and put on a date outfit. And wash your face. Take a shower. It's a completely different mentality. Completely different. I'm assuming in a positive way. In a positive way. Yeah. Going home and changing clothes changed everything I felt. Well, because it's common sense. You know, I have to say, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what's in both of my books. And the reason that I make women buy the books if they have anything to do with me, I don't need to sell books. That's not what I do. If, they're, if they don't do what I say, women have one chance. One and one chance only. If I match you, and you screw it up, I'm done. I'm done. Because there are 3 million more women in New York than there are men. Those statistics were about a week and a half ago. I think it's 1.5 million women and 1.3 million men, or something to that effect. It's the Boston Globe. One of my guys wrote me an article. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's a very competitive world out there. Women have choices. I can bring the horse, the horse to water. I can't make them drink if he wants Diet Coke. And if I tell women to do something and then they don't do it, I can't deal with it. I mean, you can ask my staff. I am done screaming at women. More women have blown the potential match of a perfect husband. What's an example of that? So what are? The I'll give you an example of that. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you a hundred examples okay. without even thinking about okay. it. I introduced a couple, and he took her out for a lovely dinner, as he always does. And I now am done with this. So done with this woman that my assistant said to me today, no, you're done with her. I, you, you can't match her anymore. She's rude. She's rude to us. She's a bitch. And I had a problem with her from the get-go. After I meet women, I then go back to their pictures and obviously let them know either these do you no justice at all, and I need new pictures. She argued with me for three days. I want my money back for the application. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I said, okay, you listen, you shut up and listen to me. Your hair is back. You look like a librarian. You're a pretty girl. You either give me new pictures or you'll just stay in the database. So she sends me new pictures and if I had the two of them together, you would never know it was the same person because her picture she sent me looked like her and her others were completely horrific. So she started off with a bit of an attitude and a tone that doesn't really work for me. Okay. So they go out. I don't remember where they went. It's irrelevant. And I assume they're having a nice time. She asks the waiter to bring the check. Now, when he told me this, I, of course, said to her, I went through the date with her. And, yeah, great guy, smart, successful, blah, 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 blah. And I said, um, so how did it go? And, you know, did you have a good time? What did you wear? What did you do? And so forth and so on. And she said, um, you know, she was answering me questions that she was completely clueless. And I said to her, I have a question for you. Did you ask the waiter to bring the check? And she said, oh, wow, did I do that? And I said, yeah. Is there a reason why you did that? She had no clue that she did that. No clue no. whatsoever. No clue. I have... I, I could give you so many examples, it's just not even funny. But basically the bottom line is, is when men go out with women, they want them to be women. They don't want them in business suits, meaning pants. Because you have to understand that the men that I deal with are obviously very successful guys. Most of them are in finance or hedge funds or entrepreneurs of some sort. That they're dealing all day long with women that play their, their femininity down because they're in the office and they're in business suits. So the last thing that they want when they're out for dinner, sitting across the table from a woman, is for her to be in a business suit, in a pair of pants that he's wearing the same pinstriped Armani suit. <laughs> Men want women to look like a lady. That means skirt, heels, and a feminine outfit that flatters themselves. Obviously, if you don't have legs for a short skirt, then don't wear a short skirt. Then wear a long skirt with a pretty sexy feminine top. And sexy does not mean showing skin and cleavage. That is 